I feel like so many people can relate to this character that you play. And even though she does such terrible things, she's relatable. How is that? I think that there isn't anyone who hasn't been on one side or another of mental illness, of depression, and of addiction. I was having some problems in my mind. People are gonna walk away from it with very varied feelings about what they just saw, and it's gonna have everything to do with the, the prism of their own experience that they, they saw it in, the, the, the baggage they came with when they sat down in the theater, and I, I love that. Was it scary for you to go back to that personal place when you were filming this movie? I was able to use myself as a resource, um, as well as a few other people in my life, especially around the addiction part. Yeah, it was scary. It wasn't scary like, I'm gonna remember those times again. There's so many modern issues in this that I think people can relate to, and you have that perfect life, but maybe it's not so perfect. ID. I, I had a crazy morning. I forgot it. She I lives it. in that space of anxiety. She lives in that what if, what if, you know, the horror stories we all tell ourselves. And part of that is the horror of the thought of not being a good mother and certainly yeah. not being oh, seen as a good like mother. A do you feel like it's a cautionary tale or more of a portrait? It's a story of a uh, human struggle, you know? I think we're all trying to survive our childhoods. Have people come out and told you personal stories about themselves? Yeah, because... and it's been so invigorating. I've always been, for some reason, a personality that people open up to me immediately. <laughs> it's, it's I a, get that, I totally get it's it. It's odd, but I, I also like it. I, I, I it's an honor to me.